there are lots of ways to do heat load calculations manual and by softwares this video will demonstrate a manual method to do heat load calculation a building or room gains heat from many sources inside occupants computers copiers machinery and lighting all produce heat warm air from outside enters through open doors and windows or as leakage through the structure however the biggest source of heat is solar radiation from the sun beating down on the roof and walls and pouring through the windows heating internal surfaces the sum of all these heat sources is known as the heat gain or heat load of the building and is expressed either in BTU British thermal units or KW kilowatts for an air conditioner to cool a room or building its output must be greater than the heat gain it is important before purchasing an air conditioner that a heat load calculation is performed to ensure it is big enough for the intended application heat load calculations there are several different methods of calculating the heat load for a given area quick calculation for offices for offices with average insulation and lighting, two-thirds occupants and three-quarters personal computers, and a photocopier, the following calculations will suffice. Heat load, British thermal unit, equals length in feet multiplied by width in feet multiplied by height in feet, multiplied by four. In metric system. Heat load, British thermal unit equals length in meter multiplied by width in meter multiplied by height in meter multiplied by 141 for every additional occupant add 500 british thermal units if there are any additional significant sources of heat for instance floor to ceiling south facing windows or equipment that produces lots of heat the above method will underestimate the heat load in which case the following method should be used instead. A more accurate heat load calculation for any type of room or building. The heat gain of a room or building depends on the size of the area being cooled, the size and position of windows and whether they have shading, the number of occupants, heat generated by equipment and machinery, heat generated by lighting. By calculating the heat gain from each individual item and adding them together, an accurate heat load figure can be determined. Step 1. Calculate the area in square feet of the space to be cooled, and multiply by 31.25. Area British thermal unit equals length in feet multiplied by width in feet multiplied by 31.25. Step 2. Calculate the heat gain through the windows. If the windows don't have shading, multiply the result by 1.4. North window British thermal unit equals area of north facing windows in square meters multiplied by 164. If no shading, north window British thermal unit equals north window British thermal unit multiplied by 1.4. South window British thermal unit equals area of south facing windows in square meters multiplied by 868. If no shading, south window British thermal unit equals south window British thermal unit multiplied by 1.4. Add the results together. Total window British thermal unit equals north window plus south window. Step 3. Calculate the heat generated by occupants. Allow 600 British thermal units per person. Occupant British thermal unit equals number of people multiplied by 600. Step 4. Calculate the heat generated by each item of machinery, copiers, computers, ovens, etc. Find the power in watts for each item. Add them together and multiply by 3.4. Equipment British thermal unit equals total equipment watts multiplied by 3.4. Step 5. 
Calculate the heat generated by lighting. Find the total wattage for all lighting and multiply by 4.25. Lighting British thermal unit equals total lighting watts multiplied by 4.25. Step 6. Add the above together to find the total heat load. Total heat load British thermal unit equals area British thermal unit plus total window British thermal unit plus occupant British thermal unit plus equipment British thermal unit plus lighting British thermal unit. Step 7. Divide the heat load by the cooling capacity of the air conditioning unit in British thermal unit to determine how many air conditioners are needed. Number of AC units required equals total heat load British thermal unit divided by cooling capacity British thermal unit. Manually calculating the size of air conditioner required can appear to be a complicated task. In this way, you choose the required cooling capacity unit by calculating the heat load.